Giving consequences for negative behavior helps learners understand accountability, responsibility, and sets them up to make better decisions in the future. There are a few things that you can keep in mind to help make your consequences as effective as possible. Here are three of my top tips for using consequences effectively. Number one is to be consistent and follow through. If you've given a student a consequence, it can sometimes be tempting to not follow through. Sometimes a student may improve their behavior after you've given them a consequence and you're like, oh, they probably learned their lesson, right? But this can also send the message that rules are negotiable and prevent learners from taking them seriously. Following through, on the other hand, sends the message that they can trust you to do what you say. The contract isn't for show and it's worth listening to. And that takes me to my next point. Set fair and logical consequences. In real life, you don't end up in detention every time you make a bad choice. So when setting consequences, try to connect them to the offending behavior as much as possible. For example, if a student has made a mess, a relevant consequence to that behavior would be for them to clean it up. Or if they've been acting disrespectful towards classroom equipment, a logical consequence would be for them to lose their privileges to that equipment, maybe for the rest of the day or until they can earn it back. If you've asked for their attention, but they won't stop talking to the person next to them, a relevant consequence may be to move them somewhere else. If you give them an unrelated consequence like a time out, they may not make the connection between their actions and the result. And this means you've missed out on a learning opportunity. It can also help to get students involved in this process. You can ask them, what do you think would be a fair and logical consequence for this behavior? Oh, and make sure that you give them a chance to correct their behavior first. And that brings me to number three, set learners up for success. Always try to set learners up to succeed as much as possible. Remind learners what the rules are and make sure they're aware that they have choices to make, usually to continue their misbehavior or to act differently in a more positive way. Hopefully they'll be able to correct their behavior and make a more positive choice. You can also talk about the positive consequences of their actions. Like, wow, you did such a good job cleaning up and now we have some extra time to do something fun. I hope you enjoyed these three tips on how to use consequences as a learning experience. I'd love to hear if you have any consequence setting strategies that work for you. So if you'd like to share, please leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.